Hey guys, it's Yuta. So the Japanese government came up with a groundbreaking solution after spending months having meetings with top specialists. And that is giving two masks to each household. Guys, it's not just one mask, it's two masks. Amazing, right? Actually, some Japanese people thought it was an April Fool joke and they were surprised when they learned it was for real. So let me share some reactions. Two masks, that's it. Per household means whether it's someone living alone or it's a family of five, they get two masks. It's fine that they are trying to hurry and return things to normal, but this is so random and unplanned. And in Japan, just like many other countries, it's hard to find masks in shops. So of course people want masks. But one of the reasons that people are so disappointed is that they feel like the government isn't doing much. Many people still have to go to work physically and they see other people going out and eat at the restaurants. So there's a lot of frustration behind this. But we have a tradition of photoshopping images to create parodies. For example, this is our Prime Minister Abe, and they made this. Two masks. Or it could be a bunny. Some people used stock images. Or Sazae-san, a famous anime in Japan, which by the way is the longest running animated TV show in the world. And also, Pokemon can only have two masks. And of course, we've got Ghibli films. This one's Spirited Away. And this one needs Whisper of the Heart. And this one's Disney. You want a mask? I've got two. But who cares? No big deal. I won't. But of course, not everybody is joking about it. People are disappointed. This TV show did a survey and it shows only 14% of the people are in favor of the plan. And some people are criticizing the LDP, the current ruling party. You just have to make the LDP lose in the next election. And some people don't think it's a good way of using the taxpayers' money. Cost of masks, 20 billion yen. Cost of shipping, 6 billion yen. Give out two cloth masks to every household. It took an entire month to come up with this. I'm really, really disappointed in so many ways. And of course, the news was reported overseas. The AFP United States released the news. The world is laughing at us again. And a lot of people have the impression that our politicians don't quite understand us. What scares me the most is that this government and its brains that can't even simulate how citizens would react to this two masks scheme are making simulations of the novel coronavirus from this point on. That's too scary. And people created the hashtag Abenomask, which is a parody of Abenomics. Of course, some people still support the government or they are not happy with the criticism. Two masks and the fact that they are made of cloth. I think that's never going to be a waste. Shipping fee? You want people to pick it up and spread the infection? It's a necessary cost. And of course, people are not saying that masks are useless. First, I thought, is this a joke? But I calmed down and thought about it. To begin with, Masks are designed to prevent infected people from spreading the virus through coughing. So I'm starting to think, maybe it's a measure to prevent the explosive spread of the infection. I disagree with the distribution method though. And maybe the media focused too much on one thing and didn't talk about the context. The ways articles about masks are covering it are not right. Medical professionals get the top priority, then educational institutions, then finally, after that, each household gets two masks. The media is only highlighting and covering the last part. And that's true, the government has been buying masks and redistributing them to places where they need masks. 
And of course, medical professionals are the highest priority. But then again, the context behind Japanese people's reactions is the frustration because people feel like their government isn't doing enough. And Japanese people are not saying that masks are useless. In fact, they started making masks on their own. And actually, I noticed that many Western people are changing their mind about masks. Because organizations like WHO don't recommend wearing masks if you don't have symptoms. So many people were following that guideline. But lately, we learned that countries like the Czech Republic seem to be controlling the situation well without drastic measures like lockdowns. Because they made masks mandatory. So some other Western people are starting to change their mind. But Japan has always been a mask nation, even though not everybody is wearing a mask like you see in my videos. But I hope you understand the context behind Japanese people's reactions. And since the situation is pretty complex, there's a lot of background information to understand. But in Japan, most information is in Japanese. So if you want to learn Japanese with me, I can teach you the kind of Japanese that Japanese people today actually speak. Because the kind of Japanese that textbooks teach you tend to be unnatural and old-fashioned. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Yuta. Alright, see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao!